and we need to talk about the winner to round off of course we do like Yes, for me, I, I said it a moment ago. Like Trent did disappear at the game for a little bit, but I think that was more tactical in the way it wasn't really clicking with the system. You know, credit to Jurgen Klopp. You know, his subs didn't work initially, but he obviously seen it wasn't working and made the change to make Trent get back into the game because Trent, for me today, his passing was just out of this world. Like he ran the show, absolutely ran the show, and you know whether the first goal goes to him or not is sort of immaterial at this point because he wasn't. We spoke earlier on the season a lot about Sabozlai being unwilling to not win games of footy that was Trent today and he was going to be the lad that won it for us wasn't it and it just everything about it like I mentioned as well like his celebration like how often have you ever seen that kind of passion for Trent before no he's never that emotional really like Liverpool are a little bit disrespectful I'm I'm going to be honest like as a a man yeah in this world you don't realise how stressful a month December actually is for us men out here. Do you know what I mean? Like December is a stressful month without Liverpool putting us through the ringer three days into the month. And, <laughs> and he did. But you know one man who got it? The scouser in our team. Yeah, he got it. Like, he got it. He knows. Yeah, yeah. I can't be putting the lads through the stress like this this soon. We've got a, a heavy running coming up now where we need to perform and we need to be stacking threes yeah. consistently. Yeah. And say what you want. Say, say what you want about Trent defensively for me. I've seen Trent Alexander-Arnold in his Liverpool career go head-to-head 1v1 with the best of them. Mm -hmm. And on his day, he holds his own. But let me tell you now, I have never seen a right-back in this world do the things that he can do going forward with the football. He is absolutely generational. He is the, the best English talent that we've produced in his 25 years of of, of being on this earth. Mm -hmm. There isn't another one that comes... Maybe right, that might be far. There could be a couple that come close to him in ability. And I still say they were younger than now. Yeah, the one uh, I'm thinking of in particular is younger. Foden? No, I'm thinking of um, Jude Bellingham. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, fair, fair. Yeah, I think, well, yeah, I think Foden in terms of what he's achieved for for the club. But you're right. I mean, this for me today, like you know, it gets banded about too that. much. It's, it's Gerard esque the way he wins this game of football for us. Because that's the only way I can put it. He wins the game of football, football for us, yeah. literally. From like, right, we were as, as well starting off as a right back, finishing as an eight. Yeah, we weren't fantastic today no. across the board. I wouldn't he say, fucking was. but he was just out of this world. Yeah out of this world and we, uh, we need to protect them at all costs because I'm fed up with this land I'm fed he can't defend he can't do he can do whatever he wants to do I'm telling you now if Trent wanted to just be a right back yeah, that right. didn't want to go past the halfway line yeah. and stand up every single man that came down his wing mm-hmm. to go 1v1 you'd never get past him why because he's that good of a footballer he just wants to be more yeah he wants to be more than just a right back. Because you'd be doing him a disservice not allowing him to be more. That's what Jürgen Klopp always said about it when like, he got asked about his defensive stuff. Like, well, I'm not asking him to defend, am I? I'm asking him to basically win games of footy for us. I'm asking him to be the guy that makes everything tick. He's the orchestrator of our entire football game. Mm. And you can't do that from just being a right back that sits back and defends you. Know, mm-hmm. Wan Bissaka 1v1 is brilliant. Put him in the final third. You can't do for all. Well, what, what? There's not on two. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's, it's, it's null and void. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and that's like something I think Liverpool fans get it and you'd be like you're blindly defending da, 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 da. no because I can be as, as objective as the next fan mm. I, I'm never trying to tell anybody that he is the wan or the Kyle Walkers or no. the Tribune when it comes to defending but I don't want him to be that. No. Because like, you lose all this. Because you lose all this. <laughs> and who, like, do you want to lose that feeling today? Because yeah. I don't. I'd do anything to have that feeling back that half an hour ago where we, me and Steve were absolutely... I'm, I'm kissing the ball man on the head. Like, it was, it was absolutely crazy. And that's what he's able to give us. And he gives it because not only has he got the, the ability in abundance, but he gets it. Yeah. And when other players see him, they understand, all right, we know why it's so mm. important to you because this is crazy. This is yours. Like, this is all, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is all yours. You are going to step up into yeah. being the guy. And he has been for a while anyway, mm. but you are going to, you're, and it's going to be different because Gerard had to carry Liverpool on his back mm. for a long time because Liverpool, at, in the condition that it was in, wasn't, wasn't at the same standard as Steven Gerrard, the player. No, not even close. There's a synergy between the club right now and Trent Alexander-Arnold. They are both operating at a world-class level. So he's not having to carry the slack for Liverpool, but he's still going to have it tattooed on his back. Mm. It's a lot lighter in weight, but their pressure still remains there, and he's handling it. Yeah. And you can there's been there's been question marks over his mentality. Can he handle it? Is he going to be able to step back up? Can he find that form again? I, if he hasn't, if he hasn't silenced every single one of his critics. In the last two weeks, he never will. 
Yeah, the Preds are working as well, aren't they? Yeah, Preds, um, Preds are we got loads more trend Naughty. chat to come on the play ratings, of course. Um, I'm sure we'll be going even further in our praise for that lad because, yeah, what a performance, what a fella.